All right, so today we're going to be getting into Cam Newton's story of how the viral fight started. Let's get into it. Okay, so then, like, I know you, right? And I know that you're competitive. C1N is competitive. 707 is competitive. Yeah, sure. You're, you're competitive as it is. So mm-hmm. I know Cam, and I know your competitive spirit and your trash talk. Like, you're going to talk shit. That's just that's you. Right. Like, you joke. You go, you talk shit to me. You're going to talk shit to everybody. Like, right. You're going to – that's that's you. But i never known you to be violent. So, like, even, like, on or off the field, anything like that, it's like, so what really led to, to this? You knew these guys, and what led to this? I think that's a part of sports. You, you play tennis, you play golf, you play basket weaving, you play cricket, you play whatever sport. Obviously, football is a very physical sport. Now, people may say, what is 707? Okay. Right? 707 is a pass-centric football game that it's not physical, it's just whatever. Um, and... It's all in the game. Like verbal communication is what people use to distract, to deter, to to get in another person's head, right? And there was a lot of talking on both sides. Okay. On all sides. And let's just first, I like how he started this off. Instead of playing the victim role, because usually when people they're explaining their side of the story, they're more putting themselves in the victim role. I like how he's making it fair on both sides, that both sides was doing the trash talking, which led to the fight. Let's continue. Like that. So I don't want to I don't want to point the finger and say, well, this person said this or that person said that it's it's all in the nature of sports. Okay. you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And. Am I saying that this is the first time it happened or the last time it will happen? It's just something that it starts with words and it should have ended with words. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm disappointed in myself by letting it escalate to what it, to what it did. Uh And that's why I'm apologetic to it. I've seen clips on clips on clips. I've seen, you know, the content that they put out or whatever. The truth of the matter is this. Me being in my position, I should have never put myself in that position. I agree with him. And I like I like how he's coming across, you know. He understood what happened. He understood what led to it. And now he is apologetic about it. This is a man that you can look up to, you know. Yeah. Holding himself accountable for his actions. I like it. Let's continue. That's just the truth. Because even then, it's like, that shit could have got ugly. Like, for real. It, it could have. And that's why I'm trying to bring the, the seriousness to this situation. Like, we can laugh about it. We can, we can play, and, and I will always try to bring humor into something that's lighthearted. But this is a serious situation that I even seen a clip that said, like, yo, like, people are laughing, but... They weren't laughing about Nipsey. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Or call it call it what you want. It's like, what if serious injury would have happened on either, either side? side yeah. Something happened to me. Something happened to them. Now, my eight children are fatherless now. Because mm-hmm. now I'm being sued. Now I got something. It, it's... It's, it's just bigger than a, what they say, don't make a rational judgment yeah. in the heat of the moment. And there's times where that wasn't even the worst that I've been through. You see what I'm saying? Like, I've rendered my time and people, people think, like, why is Cam doing this? It's like, no, I, I cannot. I owe a due diligence. I owe a service to the kids to say, like, hey, if... I see Cam, this is my opportunity to touch him, to talk to him, to laugh with him, to, you know, compete with him. Yeah. This is the only time that they may see somebody. So dare I say I'm not going to ever do it again, but yeah. I just let that situation escalate in a way that I, I didn't, so it you didn't s- need to.
Shout outs to Cam Newton, man. That man held himself responsible, accountable for the situation, and he's apologetic. I think he did a good thing in this video, you know, because he is right. The situation could have got worse. It could have got more ugly with lawsuits, um, people wanting to um, come back with revenge. You don't know how that could have let down the road, you know.